Hey, welcome back to another episode of Macro Friendly Monday, where I cook up meals that one, fit my macros, two, fit my budget, and three, and most importantly, taste awesome. In today's video, I'm taking a break from meat and making a Buddha bowl or a grain bowl, whatever you want to call it, with crispy tofu a peanut soy dressing and some fresh and pickled vegetables. And based on my current goals of building lean muscle, I'm shooting for around 130 grams of protein per day. So vegetarian meals for me are a little harder for me to reach that goal. But in this meal, I was able to get 35 grams of protein and around 600 calories, so which is pretty good. And it, not to mention it tasted awesome. So hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get cooking. So for our tofu, we're just going to dry this out. This is super firm tofu, and I'm just wrapping it in a paper towel and then throwing a cast iron over it for about 10 minutes. And then while that's going, I'm going to just grate up some ginger and soy sauce, and this is going to be basically our marinade for the tofu. And all we're going to do is cut this tofu up so it's been dried out. Um, you can see based on the paper towel, that thing was soaked. There's so much liquid in it and that liquid has gone out, but now the soy sauce and the ginger is going to be sucked up where that water used to be. And then all we're going to do is throw this in the oven once it's mixed at 425 for like 10 to 15 minutes, then flip the pieces and then do another 10 to 15 minutes. So you can see it's already started to suck up the soy sauce and that's going to provide a bunch of flavor. So toss that in the oven and we'll see that in a little while. So now I'm going to start some pickled vegetables. Definitely a great thing to have in kind of a salad bowl like this. Um, you know, you get that nice acidic component and these pickled red onions are so simple. So it's one cup of vinegar, one cup of water, and then like a couple pinches of salt, probably about a teaspoon or so. And then I'm just heating that up and then we're going to pour that over our sliced onions and some garlic. And you'll get this awesome color and just make sure you cover it completely. And then we're going to pop this in the fridge and we'll save it for our topping once we're completed with our other components. For a dressing, I'm keeping it really simple, throwing in a little knob of ginger, two cloves of garlic, one tablespoon and a half of peanut butter, and this is just 100% all peanut butter, no extra sugar, and then a tablespoon of chili garlic sauce, and then the juice of one lime. So I'm just going to blitz this up and then put it into a bottle. And after I put this in the bottle, I kind of tasted it again, and I was like, I think this needs a little bit of soy sauce. So that's what I did. I just added about a spoonful of that, gave it a little shake, and then tasted it again, and that was just what I was looking for. So I had some lima beans, they're just frozen, put in a pinch of salt, a little bit of water, and then microwave them. This is a great extra protein source. I think it's around seven grams for half a cup. So awesome thing to throw in your salads. And then for that carrot, all I did was take it against a cheese grater. And I think it's important for all kind of these cut up components to make them fairly small and uniform. That's kind of what I like in a grain bowl like this. And then for a red cabbage, I'm slicing that thin and putting a sprinkle of salt. You know, humans aren't the only one who like massages. So I'm going to massage this cabbage and that's going to draw out some of the water in there and also change the texture and make it a little more succulent. Now we are back to our tofu. This is about 12 minutes since I first put it in. And all I'm doing is turning these over, putting these back in the oven for another 10 to 15 minutes. So this is after another 10 minutes and we can see it's a lot more brown. We've got those nice crispy edges and these are actually quite tasty. I'm not a huge tofu guy, but I really liked how these turned out. 
and then now we're ready to plate our components so pick whatever grain you want i had some leftover quinoa that i had made and then i'm just putting in the grated carrots putting our nice massaged red cabbage putting in some of those lima beans and then also take a look at those red onions look at the pink color that they provided it's really crazy that transformation how it happens you know that was literally probably an hour's worth of time and then i also threw on some thai chilies you know i wanted a little bit more spice and there we have it as always here is the nutrition and price information on screen so this was a great high protein vegan vegetarian meal for me and i really really enjoyed it um it's fun kind of cooking these meals without meat i feel like sometimes i just kind of always rely on having my protein through meat so this was a great mix up for me that will wrap it up for this video hope you guys enjoyed and if you did please leave a like and subscribe be without i grant you that your gifts will take you places that will literally amaze you